Hey everyone, my name is Ronak back with another video and in this video we are going to learn the gradient descent python implementation. This is the 10th video in the getting started with machine learning playlists. So let's get started. So the prerequisite for this video is going to be python. So we will be using our classic example that we have been using since a long period of time which is determining the weights of the person based on their height. So this is a linear regression model and now I will be converging this linear regression model using the gradient descent. Now I will prepare linear regression model so I'll say linear regression and now I'll say df fit so fit is going to basically train my model so it is going to take x and y then we will have upward function and I'll also use downward function so we'll be having two functions and now I'll say for i in range of n which is phi I'll be iterating it so I'll be using the upward and I'll say x data of i minus x of mean into I'll say y data of i minus y mean similarly I'll also calculate the downward function so I'll just uh, use this thing so raise to 2 and we have it now i'll just uh, declare beta 0 and beta 1 so beta 0 is equal to 0 and beta 1 is equal to 1 uh, beta 1 is also equal to 0 and then i'll say self dot beta 1 so self dot beta 1 is equal to basically upward divided by downward and then self dot beta 0 is equal to y mean minus self dot beta 1 into x so here i will be passing my x itself so x of x mean basically sorry and now i'll just uh, return this term so i'll say self dot beta naught and self dot beta 1 now the next function is loss function so we will be finding our loss actually we are going to do this with the respect of loss so whatever we do we do, will be doing it with the loss so i'll say y pred so y pred and i'll be using that function so i'll say y pred here i'll say self dot y pred so self dot y pred is equal to y mean minus so it is equal to so basically that is uh, that is my linear regression function so i'll say self dot beta 0 plus self dot beta 1 into x of i so here i'll have to mention the x of i so that that is just going to be my data and now i'll say self dot error because the error function also i'll be using over and over again so 0 and then i'll say error is equal to 0 so self dot error is equal to y mean minus self dot y pred now i will be finding sum of square errors so sse is equal to np square self dot error and then i will find the msc which is my loss function so msc is equal to np dot mean so mean of SSE and I'll just return the MSC. Now we will make our loss optimizer. So loss optimizer is my gradient descent. So I'll say self, self and let's get started. So in this one, I'll say for I in range of epochs. So here I'll uh, mention my epoch. So I'll say epoch. Uh, wait a minute so yeah epoch is equal to one let's start with one first of all so for range in i'll say self dot epoch i want to perform something so derivative of beta one is equal to so it is minus two by n into so then it is sum of so we'll be taking the sum of x of i into self dot error. So 
so i'll be using my uh, error function over there okay so self dot error yeah so i'll have to mention x of i over here so it's x of oops so here i'll say just x of i and now similarly i'll be taking derivative of beta not let me get to start right so beta not is equal to minus 2 by n into np dot sum of self dot error nothing else okay and then i'll just uh, be updating these values so self dot beta 0 over here so self so let us start with self dot beta 1 itself okay so self dot beta 1 is equal to self dot beta 1 minus alpha into derivative of beta 1 so i'll have to mention the alpha so let us declare that also so alpha is equal to i'll take uh, let's say five convergence points so a really small alpha i would take or let us take four just for now yeah so here i'll have to say self dot alpha okay and then similarly self dot beta naught is equal to self dot beta naught minus self dot alpha into derivative of beta 0 and now i'll just kick out of the for loop i'll say return self dot beta 0 and self dot beta 1 now i'll make object form a model so model is equal to linear regression and then i'll just say model dot fit it is going to take two parameters so x data y data and y data d small y data and i'll just uh, actually print this thing so i'll just say print and and so here then i'll again say print so model dot uh, I'll pass the loss function so I want to find that also and it is uh, going to take to one parameter that is x of data and then similarly I'll say print and I'm going to print the loss optimizer which is going to take again x data mm, can't assign to literal okay so I might have screwed up somewhere one error I think I'll have to just uh, get rid of this I don't know why I did this just to save some space but it's not going to work and again we have some errors so it says name loss optimizer is not defined it's a model dot loss optimizer yeah we have it so if you can see over here the loss is converging okay so first it was uh, 2.0761 so the weights are basically converging and now i'll just fiddle with them so what i'll do is i'll just raise my epox and as you can see the loss is optimizing okay so as they converge they just go down but you have to do it in a controlled manner why i'll tell you so if i print once again the loss function and feed it with my x data The loss, if you can see, it is increasing from 5.165 to 5.63. So the, the loss function, the loss is basically increasing. Why? Because the alpha value is quite small. Like there are many more constraints. My data over here is also small and I'm also training on my already trained data. I'm basically testing on my trained data. So that is, so there are many factors. But if you can consider, I can increase the value and I can see the loss is going down so you will have to converge very very slowly the, al the alpha value is supposed to be extremely small and you have to all the time track the loss function because if the loss is decreasing then it is worth doing something so and i cannot also increase the epochs as i want because i increase epochs too much again it is going to increase so i don't want that okay so just you cannot just track the beta values so if you can see these two beta values definitely there is a deduction the convergence but the loss is increasing i don't want that i want to also increase i also want to increase the loss see so the more you go into precision the more better you will your model is going to converge so here i have put six zeros i can just get rid of one and I can also put 5 and my loss is also increasing so this is it this is the gradient descent function 
here also the weights are shifting yeah so the uh, beta not hasn't changed a lot but if you increase the uh, loss and epochs it is definitely going to change so that is how it is done so i think uh, this is it for this tutorial so in the next tutorial i don't know what i might cover but uh, this is it for this tutorial and uh, i think i should stop over here so thank you for watching goodbye